Okay, first we're gonna blend the sky, then we're gonna draw some crazy objects, then we're gonna blend everything together. Hey there, my name is Ali. I'm very excited for today's tutorial. It's gonna be a little bit advanced, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna make amazing product. Okay, I'll start by dragging our first photo. These photos are gonna be available in the description. Okay, uh, this photo is too like, uh, the length is too high, so I'm gonna use the crop tool and just crop it a little bit like that, a little bit like this. I wanna have like more to the square ratio. And then I have a problem with this actually, I don't like this tree, it's like too contrasty and too eye-catchy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my clone stamp, how this works is you hold alt, you press click anywhere, it will sample, then you can color from where you sample. Now I'm gonna sample again from here, and just get rid of this tree. Okay, now I need to cut the sky because I believe the sky is boring. We need to add another sky, so I'm gonna use the quick selection tool. And I'm just, it's, it's gonna be easy because there's like a very strong contrast. I'll also remove these trees along. However, I don't want to remove some areas, so I'm gonna use my polygonal lasso tool. Hold Alt to minus selection, and I'm just gonna minus this area like that. And I'll minus also this area like that. Okay, now I'm gonna press layer mask. It's the opposite of what we want, so I'm gonna press Control I. It will invert. Okay, now we have our like selection cut out. Okay, now I'm gonna add the sky photo. I pressed enter to like replace it. Okay, now I'm gonna move it to the top of everything. Press control T and I'll just stretch it out. I don't want like uh, the houses and all this stuff to appear. And I'm gonna put it below. Okay, some are still appearing, so I'm gonna just stretch it out more. And if you like, you don't wanna stretch anymore and you wanna get rid of this thing, just make sure it's rasterized. Go again to the clone stamp tool. And just clone some of the clouds like that. And you're done with it. Okay. One thing I want to do to this layer. I don't want the very hard selection. So I'm going to use a black brush. And I'll just erase the edge a little bit. Like that. And I'll erase the other edge as well. A little bit. Something very like. Just to make it not sharp edge. Okay, now we have like a problem. This is too dark compared to this. And it's too blue. This one actually, if you look closely, if we sample color from here, you'll see it's in the yellow hue. So this is blue and this is dark. And this is contrasty. So we'll need to like blend them. So the first thing, I'm gonna add a curves adjustment layer. Link it below. And I'm just gonna take the blacks and just pull them up till it's faded. Okay, now we fixed the first problem, which was it was dark compared to the in front of it. Now we need to fix the second problem, which is the color. So I'm gonna hue and saturation, link it, and press colorize. Now I'm gonna choose the color I want, which is somewhere here in the yellow. To make sure you're on the light color, just pump the opacity to 100. Adjust the color, I'm gonna go with some yellow orange, something like that. Then I'm gonna bring back the opacity, something very subtle, like that. Okay, you see it was bluish, now it's yellowish. Okay, now we did the sky and the part below. Okay, now we need to start adding like the flying terrain and everything. So how I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna use the lasso tool and I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna make that layer actually in between the sky and the mountain so that if I like add something it's behind the mountain and in front of the sky okay now I'm gonna just draw like some random shapes I hope they look good 
maybe something like that okay and let's draw something now like this it's okay you can fix it later if it's not perfectly like what you want I want to make this a little bit sharper like that and then I want to make it somehow going up more again sharper okay this one also I'm gonna make it sharper somehow okay I don't want this like bump we have I want to make this sharper something like that no I'll hold alt alt will minus and shift will add and I'll just get rid of this okay now we made our like selections now I'm just gonna paint the value I'm gonna go with something gray this is too dark so I'm gonna go with a lighter gray uh, a little bit too bright I guess so if you can change it you can just press ctrl and m and just move the slider either uh, to the left or down yeah something like that is good it doesn't really matter it's gonna like change anyway okay now I want to add texture to this I want to make it look like a realistic mountain something like that so in order to get texture you can either like find the photo online but in this one I'm gonna use this photo actually for texture so I'm gonna make a copy of this now I'm gonna close everything just so I can see it clearly I'm gonna select the mountain area like that then I'm gonna press right click select inverse then delete now I deleted everything I'm also gonna apply layer mask and I'll just use the eraser just to get rid of these I only want like the mountain texture in the foot okay now we have the mountain what I want to do is I want to make it more bigger and I'll just stretch it out like this something like that okay and I have to make sure it's lit from the left side and I'm gonna hold alt and just do another copy of it here and maybe just stretch it out change it like it just change it a little bit so it's not the exact copy something like that then I'm gonna merge the, these two together now I'm gonna open all the layers again okay now all I need to make sure of that this is overlapping this layer it's all on top of the gray here it's not on top of it some parts are still missing okay now it's completely on top of it now I'm gonna press ctrl click on this one and on this layer of the mountain texture I'm gonna add a layer mask make sure it's like be behind the main layer okay now we created like the mountain texture okay now we're done with the texture but it still looks fake we need like to do a lot of fixing on it so the first thing I'm gonna do is this one is like behind so the more further the thing goes behind the more faded it should be so I'm gonna add a curves adjustments to it and I'm gonna pull the blacks up until it's more faded okay that's the first thing but fading it if you can notice it removed a little bit of the color so I'm gonna go to a hue and saturation link it and add back some color okay now we fix the value the value is like the how dark or how bright is it is okay now we need to do another thing I'm gonna add another layer link it below then I'm gonna use a brush an orange brush strong one actually and then I'm just gonna paint this is too orange I'll go with uh, yellow maybe okay and I'm just gonna very slightly paint on the edges which should be facing the Sun or not not the Sun just the light source okay and then using the eraser I'll erase this one here also I'm gonna do this I'm just gonna paint yellow on the edges then I'll lower the opacity and just paint another yellow one so it's like it's not just a small line it's a bit faded and I'm gonna change it to soft light and I'm gonna lower the opacity like strongly okay so now we just have a little bit of yellow on the edges it's good okay now I do something always I do it I press ctrl and j now I have two copies of it I'll close the one below this is just in case I mess up which with what I'm gonna do now I have another copy what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the dodge tool 
and I'm gonna dodge the opposite sides of the right of the light. Make sure just it's like on mid tones and a very low opacity, something like that. And I'm just gonna dodge some areas opposite of the light. This will give it more like dynamic, make it more 3D act. And maybe dodge a little bit here, something like that. It will give depth to your photo. Maybe on that area, I'll even dodge something like that. Maybe here also. And just overall dodge. Okay, now it gave us like some sort of 3D. I'll do the same on the other side. Just dodge these areas. Just something like that. Okay. Now, one more thing I want to do is I want to add like more. If you look at the mountain, it has these cracks. So there are two ways to do it. You can use a very strong dodge with something like three pixels brush and just yeah, keep drawing something like that. Another way is using a crack brush. I have here a crack brush. I'm just going to use a big one with a low opacity. And I'll just press several clicks on it here and there. No, that's too strong. I don't want that. Just some very subtle like. Yeah, something like that. And remember, if you don't like it, that's why we have another copy of everything. Okay. Now we added more to, like some texture to it, everything. The last thing I'm gonna do when something is far away, it should have fog in front of it. So in front of all these layers, I'm gonna add a new layer and go to a brush. And I'll just use a very like non saturated yellow. And I'll use a fog brush I have here. And with a low opacity, I'll just add some fog in front of everything. It's okay if it's too strong at the beginning, because like we always do, we can lower down our opacity until it's looking good. I just want to fade this edge out a little more. Yeah, something like that. Okay, one more thing we could do actually. We could go on the bottom layer, which is the sky on top of it. I'm going to add a new layer. Now, just to know where I'm painting, I'm just gonna see where, like, if I'm doing it right. No, this is not what I want. I want it to be also in front of these mountains. So I'm gonna go here. I'll add a layer. Okay, now I'm in the right spot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the gradient tool with a white color and the first gradient, and I'm just gonna pull a little bit of white. So it looks like there are, like, fog in the way also. Okay, now we're good with these. Okay, this one actually I have a problem with it. I don't like this area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my rectangle marquee on the layer mask itself. And just try moving it around a little bit. Okay, it's not working so I'm gonna clone stamp it. I'm gonna stand on the layer itself. Use the clone stamp tool. And I'll just take from here. And just clone stamp out this like orange area. Then I'll just dodge. With a normal brush, I'll just dodge the like the lower part so it looks more like 3D and the top part. Okay. Okay, now we created our two layers. I'm gonna create one more like object. So I'm gonna go on top of everything. I'm gonna add a new layer. Let's call this flying. Sorry, flying. Okay. Now I wanna draw something like let's say something like that. Okay, now exactly like we did before, just take a gray color, paint with it. Now we need to add texture, I'll take it from this mountain. So I'm gonna press Ctrl J to duplicate this layer, then I'm gonna hold Alt and press click. This will only leave me with this layer and close everything else. So now I'm gonna apply layer mask, then I'm gonna select only the mountain, just exactly like we did before. Right click, select inverse, backspace. And I'll hold Alt and open everything again. Okay, now I have the mountain itself. So now I'm going to press Ctrl T, right click, flip vertical. Now I have the mountain inverted. I'm going to make it smaller. I just need to make sure it's overlapping the gray everywhere. I don't want to have like any parts of gray. 
which are not overlapped by the mountain yes then I'm gonna put it on top of flying then control click on flying and add layer mask now I don't need this one anymore okay you can always like move it around by unlinking unlinking and taking the main layer and just try like moving it around okay I wanted something like that okay that's good okay now we need to fix it like we fixed the one below first we will fix what we call it the value so I'm gonna on top of it add curves adjustment link it below and just fade it out a lot something like that okay so it looks like it's like behind then I'm gonna add another hue and saturation because it lost some color I'm gonna bring back some color then I'm gonna add a new layer link it below use my brush an orange brush and I'm just gonna color it like that then I'm gonna add more to the edge I'm gonna change it to soft light and lower the opacity something like 10% So it have like some orange okay uh, now we will go to the dodging but first we will press ctrl and j so we have an extra copy just in case anything happens then i'm gonna go with the dodge and i'm gonna just like dodge the areas away from the sun to make it more like 3d this one needs actually a little bit of work it looks too flat so i'm just gonna do something like that maybe something like this just no wait i'll do it with even lower opacity lower exposure make sure it's like three uh, i'll make it a little bit bigger let's say eight okay i'm just gonna draw it's drawing actually some lines but it's barely visible which is good this is what texturing is all about so i'm just gonna add some texture to it I'm gonna darken some areas I want to darken like make some if you darken something it looks like it's going inside if you brighten something it looks like it's going outside like now if we zoom out this part looks like it's going inside okay I'm gonna darken a little bit of areas something like that here I want to darken this one out Okay, then we can go to the crack brush and just add texture, just darken overall some parts, something like that. Make it big, make it small, press like two clicks in a part, then a one click at the other, just make some random thing so it looks natural. Okay, now I don't like this area, I'll just sand on my layer mask, take it out by painting black on top of it. Okay, now we have everything. It's time for like, this is, we're done with the composition. Now it's time like to color grade everything. I want to add the sky is too desaturated and we have here a lot of light on the left. So I want on the layer sky, I'll add a new layer and I'll just take a brush and I'm just going to paint orange, very subtle orange here. I can do it with a gradient actually and just pull something like that and I'm going to change it to Let's try screen. Screen will brighten things up. Okay, screen is good. We added some color. Now on top of everything, I'm gonna do this again. Maybe I'll do it a little bit from above. Okay, I'll change it to soft light this time, not screen. Lower the opacity. Now we have some orange from the left. Okay, now I'll do the color grading using curves adjustment. I'll go to curves. I'll go to the red channel. I'll add some cyan to the shadows, opposite of it is reds in the highlights. Then I'm gonna go to the blue channel, I'm gonna add some blues to the shadows, opposite of it, yellows in the highlights. See if I go too strong, it will be too yellow, just a little bit of yellow. Then I actually go to the green channel, I'll add some magenta, this is magenta. I'll add a little bit of magenta just to my highlights. Okay, let's see what that did. It added some color to the photo. Okay, now I'm gonna to do another curves adjustment. This is toning, not colors. I'm gonna bring the darkest points up a little bit so I can bring this one down. I don't wanna go, go too strong with it, actually. Something like that is good. And then I'm gonna take my brightest points and I'm just gonna... No, actually, I'm gonna leave it the way it is. 
Okay, now we created some sort of a, like a fade. Okay. Uh, what else we could do? Let me think. Okay. I guess we're done. I'm just taking like a final look. Okay, I'll do just like one last thing. I'll add a new layer. Take my gradient tool. And I'm just gonna paint orange all the way from left to right. Something like that. Just orange, and then I'm gonna use a blue color And I'm just gonna paint blue opposite to it I'm gonna do it also like from down here Maybe from up here, and then I'm gonna go to orange and do also from down from up And then I'm gonna change this to soft light And I'm just gonna lower the opacity That's too strong, I guess something like 10% is good Okay, now it did a very small effect. It, I like the blue actually here and the orange on the other side. Okay, now we can do one more thing. I'll just add a photo filter. I'll make a sepia photo filter. This sepia like is uh, the color of dust, so it should like match our like foggy environment. Okay. The thing is, I believe these are too strong. They look close to the camera, as close as the mount the mountain. So I want to just make them look like a little bit far away. Especially the one on top. These look far away because we added the fog. But to fix them, I'm just going to go to them. Okay, it's this one. I'm just going to lower its opacity a little bit. It will fade into the background more. Then I'm going to go to this one also. I'm just going to lower its opacity a little bit. So it fades to the background more, making it look like it's like far behind. Okay, the last thing I'm going to press Ctrl, Alt and Shift, hold them, then press E. What this will do, it will merge everything into a new separate layer. So now I can go to filter, camera raw filter. Now we will edit everything in a bunch. Okay, what I'm going to do is maybe, I don't know. There is nothing a lot, like nothing much we can do. I'll just add a little bit of vignette. It's in the FX module. Vignette, it draws like a, a black circle around your photo, but you go with a subtle one, something like that. So your eyes, like the eyes can't see it. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna take my dodge tool. I'm just gonna dodge this area because this area should have the, like light. And just on the burn tool I'm gonna burn this area something like that so this should have like less light okay, I'll try one thing I don't know if it will work but I'll just try it I'll take a white color and I'm just gonna paint light like that maybe like that and let me try the linear dodge, you know, the soft light. And just lower the opacity a lot, something like that. It actually looks good. It brings the eyes somewhere like there is light here and it's coming all the way to the man on the screen. Okay, it looks good. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope it was like beneficial. If you have any suggestions or any comments, make sure you put them down below in the comment section. Thank you guys.